Hello everyone, welcome back to Slice Coasters News. I know, this is the second news blast of the day. Um, I didn't think we would have anything to talk about today, but considering the fact that some news just dropped literally within the past day, within the past few hours actually, um, we're going to take a second and kind of talk about what's going on uh, at Universal Orlando, uh, more explicitly in Islands of Adventure, um, you know, we're going to be talking about brand new uh, videos came out on their Facebook and on their social medias about Velocicoaster. So, uh, it is called Velocicoaster, Jurassic World Velocicoaster. So, where exactly does this go? Well, the ride vehicle itself, it looks futuristic. Uh, just in general, when you look at the whole spec of uh you know the specs of this amazing coaster coming out we were anticipating that it would be something like this it would be more futuristic and it definitely is there are uh really cool effects on the back to where it kind of glows um everything glows on this attraction and this kind of takes a stand away from uh the hulk if you guys don't know about the Hulk uh, traction, basically we see these kind of, you know, lights on the Hulk. And for myself, it's kind of like when you sit there and when you see this coaster and when you see this effect, it's very exciting because the side piece here. So if you go and look on the uh, photo uh, that they post on their uh, Facebook there are these little uh, head pieces on the side, which look as if they might be, uh, you know, little speakers that might play sounds throughout the ride. So I am really excited. Um, of course, this has like a silver, blue, black aesthetic. Um, if you guys know from the movies, silver, blue is for blue, uh, blue the Velociraptor. I think that's very cool. Uh I, I don't know whether or not it's supposed to stand for that, but it is really exciting. As well, it says that it's going to be summer 2021. So we finally have a release date. Now, of course, for Orlando Parks, uh, we could get a, uh earlier opening. I don't really know yet. You know, it's, you know, with the whole entire worldwide health pandemic, and with how Universal runs and operates, um, I would be very happy if it were to come out in 2021, um, in spring, but that's just me. Uh, just taking a look real quick for a quick second, uh, there are, a, this feels, you know what it looks like to me? It looks like a Mustang. It looks like a Mustang, uh, car. And of course on the back there are like thrusters that kind of thrust you off. They're not real thrusters, but... You know, the level of theming that they're putting into this attraction just feels amazing. Uh, you know, just taking a second to look at this here. You have this really themed attraction. Uh, as per their website, you know, just looking on Universal uh, Orlando's uh, Jurassic World Velocicoaster website... Um, it's talking about that you are in the raptor paddock. So you're in the raptor area. So you're going to be seeing other raptors throughout the attraction. Um, and I just think it's going to be really cool. I think that's exciting. I think this is exactly what we need coming from uh, Islands of Adventure. You know, and a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people kind of question, okay, is the whole launch concept a little bit too much in Islands of Adventure? I don't think so. I think that we have way too little launch coasters around the United States, so I think that you know, Islands of Adventure having so many launched attractions is perfect, in my opinion. So, with this being said, we can speculate now that with Velocicoaster coming, that more than likely I would not be surprised if Jurassic World comes to Islands of Adventure, which would be very upsetting because I love Jurassic Park theming. Uh, I believe Jurassic World will come in 2021, we'll probably see something uh, around the spring when they start to build. And it'll probably be a quick conversion. Um, 
Or it could just be a standalone attraction. You know, that could be a thing for Islands of Adventure. I don't really know yet. But I am really excited to see what they can do in 2021. 2021 is going to be a very awesome year, as we've been talking about here before. You know, we uh, just had a show come out about water parks in 2021. I think 2021 is going to be amazing for water parks and theme parks. So with that being said, we're going to move on now to Cedar Point for a second. Now, we here at Slides of Coasters, we want to bring you guys the latest in news, discussions, period, point blank. Uh, and we're not going to repeat news that we talked about before. Uh, simply put, for example, a lot of people were asking why am I not talking about uh, the um, Nintendo World, the Super Nintendo World announcement. Uh, we already made a discussion. We already had that debate. We already had that uh, analysis. So that's basically where we're at there. But, you know, we're going to talk a bit about Cedar Point and their merchandise dumps, so to speak, uh, onto their online store because they just put out some brand new merchandise. They put out some really cool signs out. And, you know, guys, if you're looking for your uh, significant other or if you're looking for your coaster friend, maybe you're having a secret Santa and maybe that coaster enthusiast on your list, you might want to go check out Cedar Point's online website. As well, there's a website for Knott's Berry Farms that has a small collection of items. Uh, there's a website for Kings Island, if I understand correctly. There's a website also for Cedar Point. And for Cedar Point, they have a ton of 150th anniversary uh, items. They've got a lot of cool items, a lot of cool, exciting uh, things just to go and choose and pick from. But something I really want to highlight here is that they just announced some brand new signs. So we got some really cool wood grain looking signs um, throughout the whole entire deal. Uh, they have signs like, uh, they have some signs for Cedar Point, Millennium Force, Maverick, Seal Vengeance, Top Total Dragster. They have a one that has like home. Uh, there's one that's for uh, how many days until we go to Cedar Point, uh, which I believe that just changed because I, I swear it looked a little bit different before. Uh, maybe it didn't. I don't know. But, uh, Basically, they also have one that is like, you know, Cedar Point, ride names, white, and uh, natural. So, it's kind of like, it's very exciting. It's very cool. I think that this is an amazing uh, thing to look at for when you're looking for your loved one. When you're looking for some brand new uh, items. Because I think that in general... Uh, if you have a coaster enthusiast on your Christmas list, you might want to go check these guys out. They have some amazing hats. They have some amazing ornaments, some amazing holiday gear, by the way. Uh, I actually put down some of the Cedar Point items, like the long sleeve sweatshirt here, uh, on my bucket list for uh, Christmas. And if I don't get it for Christmas, I'm probably going to buy it for myself. Uh, they've got mugs. They've got uh, just random apparel. Uh, a, you know, just things that you would expect from Cedar Point on their online website. Uh, they've got virtually anything that you need, in my opinion, for a good Christmas for coaster enthusiasts. You might want to check this out. Because I personally am. Uh, I'm actually going to be sitting down in a couple weeks and probably buying some of this merchandise because I would love to get... Uh, some of these signs. I would love to get some of these items uh, just for my personal office. Um, and just in general, I just have to say it's huge kudos to Cedar Point and Cedar Fair for continuing their commitment to our enthusiasts, to our fan base, you know, just fan base in general. You know, just putting out stuff out there because a lot of people weren't able to get to the point this year. And uh, just for myself, at least, I think it's really cool that they're actually putting out cr stuff for Christmas so that you can buy something for Christmas for your loved ones who maybe are going to Cedar, Cedar Point next year, who maybe want to have Cedar Point items for their household. You know, uh, I know for a fact I'm probably going to be buying a lot of this merchandise uh, to put up in my own house, you know, put up in my uh, spaces. So I think most definitely... If you haven't already, go and check that out. You know, they've got a ton of merchandise. they got a ton of gear to ch choose from. Uh, 
I traditionally wouldn't have discussed this unless if it was really major, but considering the fact there's a lot of items here, um, I think you should definitely go check it out. And of course, go check out uh, Knott's Berry Farms. They have a really cool online merchandise shop. The uh, King's Island has a really cool KI gear website, which has a lot of interesting items for you to choose from. Um, of course, that came out a uh, little bit earlier, if I remember correctly. It came out around the same time that Cedar Point put their stuff out. But uh, just for myself, I think that it's really exciting. I think it's really cool. Of course, we did have a little post in the Slides to Coasters Discord this morning about it. So if you guys aren't there already, go and check out Slides to Coasters Discord. Uh, as well, we have a Facebook, an Instagram, a Twitter. So get involved, get active in our community. We'd love to have you out. With that being said, guys, stay tropical. We'll see you guys in the next one.